Welcome top news today. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson at a U.N. meeting with Japan and South Korea in 2017. Reuters' Brian R. Smith pool Secretary of State Rex Tillerson pointedly left military action on the table at a multilateral meeting in Canada, saying North Korea could trigger a harsh response if they shun diplomatic engagement. The White House is reportedly considering a bloody nose strike on North Korea, which Tillerson would NT rule out. Tillerson reportedly is one of the voices pushing against the strike, but his refusal to rule it out shows how seriously the idea is being taken. President Donald Trump's maximum pressure strategy of dealing with North Korea has begun to take shape after Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, supposedly a voice of restraint and diplomacy, refused to rule out a military strike against the Kim regime. We have to recognize that the threat is growing and if North Korea does not choose the pathway of engagement, discussion, negotiation, then they themselves will trigger an option, Tillerson said after a multilateral meeting in Vancouver, Canada. Asked directly about reports from U.S. officials that the National Security Council is considering a small strike on North Korea often described as a bloody nose attack, Tillerson refused to rule it out. He would only say that he was not going to comment on issues that have yet to be decided among the National Security Council or the President. The meeting Tillerson attended hosted officials from 20 nations that had backed South Korea in the original Korean War of 19,501,953. It ended with a loose agreement to consider more sanctions on North Korea and to push for a diplomatic solution to the crisis. But Tillerson, the U.S.'s top diplomat and who the Wall Street Journal reported was one of the voices in Trump's ear arguing against a strike, hardly mentioned diplomacy outside the context of it being an alternative to war. With the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics approaching in February and continuing until March, the U.S. has agreed to halt military drills with South Korea, and bilateral talks between the two Koreas seem to have cooled previously soaring tensions. National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster reportedly dismissed these talks as diversions, and has been seeking to upend the stalemate that has kept the U.S. from reacting to North Korean provocations for decades. A limited strike on North Korea, one that would assert U.S. resolve and power without crossing the threshold of intolerability after which Kim Jong-un may feel compelled to retaliate massively, could have tremendous strategic effect. That the meeting in Vancouver, which focused on sanctions implementation and diplomacy, became upstaged by a dispassionate warning of war from the U.S.'s top negotiator, may indicate how closely the current administration is considering a strike that could lead to a loud conflict. See also Trump's hawkish security adviser reportedly held secret meetings with Japan and South Korea about standing up to North Korea.